The Red Sox have signed six major free agents so far this offseason. But will these players taken together make the Red Sox a better ball club in 2013? So it's been a busy winter so far for the Red Sox as they have signed six players as free agents to their roster for next season. Backup catcher David Ross, outfielder Johnny Gomes, outfielder Shane Victorino, pitcher Koji Uhara, shortstop Stephen Drew, and of course, Mike Napoli, who the Red Sox announced they had signed but have never really gotten together and fully put the ink on the contract because they have concerns about some of the medical issues that Napoli has. And if the Red Sox ultimately are not able to bring Napoli to Boston and actually play this guy, that's going to be a bad sign for GM Ben Charrington and his front office staff that they misevaluated somebody so badly that they can't come to an agreement on a contract because of the medicals. And that would be a really bad thing because Napoli would add a good power bat to the Red Sox lineup as we've talked about earlier in the offseason. If they can't bring Napoli here, that's a bad start to the offseason. But what about the rest of the players they've acquired? Listen, anytime you get a good backup defensive-minded catcher like David Ross to handle a pitching staff, that's a good thing. Now, Ross is not going to be the starting catcher, but he definitely will be a big contributor to this team. He knows how to handle pitching staffs. He throws out base runners with pretty good regularity behind the plate, and that's what the Red Sox need at catcher. They need some kind of defensive stability, something they've been sorely missing since Jason Veritek retired. The signing of Johnny Gomes mystifies me. I don't know why the Red Sox didn't just give Cody Ross a three-year contract and stick him back in the outfield at Fenway Park as we've talked about, Ross is a proven performer in Boston, and the fact that he'll now be playing in Arizona rather than Boston cannot be a good thing. I don't know much about Gomes. I know he's a power-hitting kind of player, but I don't believe that he's an everyday player. He'll probably end up being platooned with Ryan Kalish in left field. But it remains to be seen if Gomes has the personality to play in Boston. Again, we knew that about Cody Ross. We don't know that about Johnny Gomes, so it remains to be seen what kind of signing that is. But two signings that I really do like are the Victorino signing and the Stephen Drew signing. Now, Victorino comes over from Philly, and again, my first choice would have been Cody Ross, but short of that, I think Victorino will be a very good player for the Red Sox. I think he'll bring veteran leadership and a lot of desire to the team. I think he believes he had a very bad season last year, and he wants to definitely atone for that. And if he can do it in Boston, in right field, Ultimately, that will resurrect his career. So I think the Victorino thing, even though a lot of Red Sox fans are complaining that they overpaid for him, hey, it's not my money and it's not your money. If that's what it took to get Victorino in here, fine. I think he's going to produce and produce well for the Sox, so I like that signing. I also like the Stephen Drew signing very much. Even if it's just a one-year stopgap, similar to the Adrian Beltre signing a few years ago, I think Drew will be fully healthy this year. I think he plays with a lot more fire than his brother J.D., and I think Red Sox fans will like him very much as they look for that one-year bridge to Xander Bogarts, the shortstop prospect they have in the minors, and what this means for Jose Iglesias, who knows. As for the pitcher, Koji Uhara, who came over from Texas, he's a 37-year-old power pitcher with a very, very low walk rate. He'll be another one of those guys in the bullpen that they'll have as a setup man for new closer Joel Hanrahan. You mix Uhara in with Andrew Bailey and Daniel Bard, who hopefully will resurrect his career. And I think it'll be a good thing for the Red Sox bullpen. So as I look at these signings in the offseason, it's kind of a mixed bag. And I think it all hinges on Mike Napoli, whether he's here or not, as to whether the Red Sox had a good offseason signing free agents. Because I think some of the signings, as I mentioned, Ross, Victorino, and Drew particularly, are good signings. They're solid citizens. Good players who had kind of average seasons last year who have a lot to prove, and I think that they will be able to do that in Boston. And I think it bodes well for the Sox in 2013. And you combine that with new manager John Farrell, we don't know what the complete picture yet is of the Red Sox, but as we start 2013 in the new year, I think the Red Sox prognosis for next season is very good. But for you guys out there, as you look at the free agent signings this season, are you happy with the job Ben Charrington, GM Ben Charrington has done so far this offseason. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red.